Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be finding the value of x, which is the shaded region in red over here. So, to find the value of x, what I'm first going to do is find the area of the entire thing. And we are given the sides, the side lengths, and what is the area of a rectangle with times length, right? And both, width, both the width and the length are the same, meaning the area of this, the area of the whole thing, is equal to 10 times 10, which is 100. So if the area of the whole thing is 100, that means the area of half of this, which is just this part over here, is going to be 50. So the area of this is 50. And let me actually make a new square over here divide it into half and say this is 50. And we also know that this is 10 and this is 10 over here. So now I'm going to draw in these parts, which is these white regions over here. And this is going to be X. So now this is A and this is A, meaning these two combined would be 2A. And 2A plus X plus 50 is, remember, equal to 100 because the total area is 100. So now if I subtract 2A and 50 on both sides, these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I get X is equal to 50 minus 2A. Well, all we need to do is find the value of a and then we get our value of x. So how do we find the value of a? Well, let me bring in another square here. And for this one, I'm just going to be focusing on this part over here. And we can just say that all of this at the bottom here is red. So when I mean this part, I mean the area of this region because remember sorry this region right here because this region plus this region is going to be the area without x so I'm going to be finding the area of this re this region and then using that to find the value of x so to find the area of this region right here well remember the area of a circle area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. And this is a half circle, so this is going to be pi r squared over 2. So, in this case, r is going to be half of 10, which is 5. So the area of this is going to be 5 squared pi, which is 25 pi over 2 which is equal to 12.5 pi. So now that I know this, what I can do is say that these two, this is A and this is A right here, meaning 25 plus, sorry, 25 plus 2A is equal to 12.5 pi because half of 50 over here is 25. So I have 25 plus 2a equals 12.5 and now we can actually find the value of a. So I'm going to subtract 25 on both sides so then these two cancel out and I get 2a is equal to 12.5 pi minus 25. And now if I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and I get a is equal to 12.5 pi minus 25 over 2. So now I can plug this back in to my value of x here, which is 50 minus 2a. So if I plug in this value for a, I get x is equal to 50 minus 2 times 12.5 minus 25 over 2. Now these two cancels out, so I get x is equal to 50 minus 
12.5 minus 25. And now the negative sign distributes, so I get x is equal to 50 minus 12.5 plus 25, which is equal to, or sorry, by the way, this is 12.5 pi. So now I get 75 minus 12.5 pi. And this is approximately equal to 35 point seven three and we can't forget to add our units which is square units